Hey guys, it's Mantis Striker, and welcome back to the series of The Crow Calling All Units, where I dissect this DLC for all it's worth just to entertain you viewers. And despite the amount of pain I go through, I still continue on doing it. So today we're going to be looking at some of the new cars I've decided to add into the game. There's some pretty unique new abominations of nature. So stick around because I've got some plenty goodies to show you in my little basket. It's alright. Let's begin the bloody video now. And see what we can find in our garage. So, our first vehicle today is the Maserati MC-12. Now this is going to be one of the most expensive cars in the game, just falling behind the Koenigsegg Agira. What this car really specializes in is a great top speed and great maneuverability. So this is going to be one real freak of nature. And besides the Maserati as a performance spec, you also have it as it is in its, uh, its circuit spec. Now the circuit spec has all the good qualities of the Maserati MC-12 in general, but with better with a better turning radius and better mobility. Next up we have the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. A very high quality, high top end gear of Ferrari. Now this Ferrari is beautiful, and it's going to be a car that I'll be driving around a lot. Now basically, what the F12 Berlinetta is going to be is it's pretty much just a miniature version of the La Ferrari. It boasts many of the same traits, and it looks just as good. Next up, we have the Nissan GTR R35. Now this is a vehicle that we've been begging poor old Ubisoft to be adding into the game for a long time. Now as you can already tell, the thing has an amazingly good launch, and the engine sounds... Ugh, it sounds like the sun coughing. <coughs> it, this car is just awesome. It turns extremely well, it launches very well. And this is one of the few cars that's going to be get getting a new police spec for the Calling All Units. So this thing can be in the form of a police car. It's very, very cool. And up next we have the Jeep Wrangler, the Monster Raid spec. Nice car. And after this, so, and also the uh, All All Units, they've added a bunch of new bikes. Here we have the KTM Racing Bike, which is going to be a real monster when it's fully upgraded, despite the fact it has no headlights at all, except for those two little ones on the front. And up next, we have the Indian, the Indian uh, Dark Chief Horse, uh, I think that's what it's called. Now, there's plenty of more vehicles in the game, but I don't have any footage of those cars because I don't have them. But anyway, so, for my absolute favorite vehicle, strap, strap yourselves in, folks. You're not going to believe this shit. We've got the Fiat 500 Monster Truck Police Car. This is totally a thing that exists. <laughs> oh my god. Just look at this thing. This... Thing is just so beautiful. I mean, I mean, you, I mean, sure, you all thought the Fiat monster truck was ridiculous on its own, but just make it a cop car. You got this thing. It's glorious. Best kind of vehicle. Glorious vehicle. So anyway, besides all the cars, um, with the so with another thing about the arrest mode is that people. You can just join in your arrest mode whenever, uh, like, if you're playing, like, a little notification will pop up on the top right screen allowing you to join. Now, not only can you join up as a, as a support role, but you can also join up as a cop so you can arrest any, you know, you can arrest other people playing as the transporter. So you can literally have live players chasing you down just in a random mode. And I really do like this feature. It's pretty cool. And it does give you a bit of a challenge. So it's not like you're kicking puppies all the time when you just have the AI chasing you. That is actually a bit of a challenge. Now you got some players actually trying to hunt you down. And it can really... It can just make the whole uh, experience a lot more challenging. So, besides all this free roam stuff, there is one final thing to talk about. 
and that is the uh, some of the missing cars that they've added into the that they uh, that they haven't added into the crew calling all units. And the first one I gotta say is uh, the Lamborghini Huracan. Now, it's not that they didn't add the Lamborghini Huracan, but it's how they added it that disappointed me the most. So. Originally, at first, they were planning to make the Lamborghini Huracan publicly available for everybody to buy. Basically, everybody could just, you know, spend credits, get the car, and then we're all happy. But what they decided to do instead is that they gave the Lamborghini Huracan, get this, to the only, you know, to people who have only played the, uh, the DLC for, like, since it came out. So... You know, like since that sentence came out so terribly, I'm just gonna reward it. The Huracan is only available to people who have been playing the crew from the very beginning. Not from people who started frickin' Wild Run. You have to have been playing the game for two whole frickin' years in order to buy the best- one of the best looking cars that's just been released in the update. Yeah, it's- it's one of those- it's one of those kind of things. It's one of those little scams. It's very, very disappointing. And I'm sure a lot of you are going to be just as disappointed to find out that you're not going to be able to get the Lamborghini Huracan until late December. But it's a Huracan. Uh, there's another vehicle that they haven't added into the game yet. And this isn't like the Huracan where it's only available to certain players. Like this one, they just haven't added it in general. It's a Mercedes. It's a Mercedes racing vehicle. It just hasn't been added in the game. There are plenty of videos that just show clips of this car and it's got a really I mean it's it's like a Mercedes uh, GTR it's like a racing car and it looks really nice but for some odd so for you know for some puzzling reason they just haven't added it into the game and I've played it all the way through the story missions and they and you know it hasn't given me the Mercedes coupe like it, it just hasn't given me the car it hasn't given me the option to get it so and then there's nothing to buy in the store, there's... There's really nothing that says anything about this car, so... My biggest conclusion is that... It's either gonna be added in the next update, or it's probably gonna be added in a, sum in a monthly summit event. Uh, that's the only explanation I can really give. I... Don't really, uh, know why. But yeah, besides that, um, I think it's time to, like, finish up- finish up the rest of this video. So, honestly... Um, just to sum up this whole DLC, it is a lot of fun. Comparing it to Wild Run, they've certainly done a lot more in this DLC than they have with Wild Run. It's not just a spec that you just drive around now. Like, like you can actually, uh, use these specs, you know, unlike the drag races where you'd only use them in a straight line and launching them off with your friends. So you can actually do stuff with these, uh, vehicles now, so it's quite fun. Uh, the new arrest mode is pretty interesting. It's pretty well varied, and it also makes you rage a lot, especially when you keep spinning out in the, e in the EMP shocks. So yeah, I mean, let I mean, comment down below. Let me know what you think about the crew of Wild Run. Do you like it? Are you disappointed? Do you think they could have done a little better, or do you think this is exactly what you wanted? But anyway, I'll I'll catch you later, folks, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye. Hey, why are you still here? The video's over now. You shall leave. Leave, you imbeciles. Leave. Leave.